All right, I'm gonna leave you with this. On this Halloween, it is just before 7 a.m. here in Washington, the White House, still dark at this hour. We're, of course, just five days away from finding out who's gonna move into the executive mansion next. Here's the question, though. Will the winner be moving into a haunted house? The Bush twins seem to think so. Dozing off, falling asleep, and then all of a sudden, there is 1920s jazz music coming out of the fireplace. Piano. 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 Scares the hell out of us. You're not supposed to say that. Scares us. Dreadfully. (laughs) Dreadfully scares us. According to the White House Historical Association, ghost sightings at the executive mansion are not uncommon. President Ronald Reagan reportedly told dinner guests that his dog Rex would go into any room in the White House except for the Lincoln bedroom. Rex would bark frantically at the door, and Reagan believed it was Lincoln's presence frightening his dog. Honest Abe, a common sighting going back decades in the White House following his assassination in 1865. One of the more humorous tales belongs to British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who was staying in the Lincoln bedroom while visiting Franklin Roosevelt. According to an account retold in the Washington Post, Churchill had just stepped out of a hot bath in the Lincoln bedroom and was wearing nothing but a cigar when he encountered Lincoln by the fireplace. Good evening, Mr. President, Churchill reportedly said. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. What do we think? Is the White House haunted? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And if you're going Churchill, it's probably like.